Hey guys, as you can see by my room, it is dark, but can you blame me? It is evening after all. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a very short review for you guys. Excuse me for a moment. I'm going to be doing a very short review for you guys, and I'm going to express my own opinion on this film in a very polite tone. If you don't agree with my opinion in a polite way, remember what I said in my Barney's Great Adventure review. Just remember that. Anyway, this movie is about a rich girl and a poor boy falling in love in the 1940s. <clears throat> but they are separated by their social differences. Yes, you guys, I am going to review Nicholas Sparks' The Notebook from 2004. I had seen a few clips of this movie before and have watched the whole movie, so I basically know it by heart. In all honesty, everybody, I don't consider The Notebook to be a very good movie. Why? I I just don't like it. The acting is okay, I guess. The script is kind of good, but it's just not a very good movie to me. I don't consider this the the best film of the year like a lot of people have. Now, keep in mind that I am expressing my own opinion in a polite tone. I'm not screaming. I'm not yelling. I'm just telling you how I feel about this movie. <clears throat> the main reason why I don't like this movie one of the main reasons why I don't like this movie, there are a couple other reasons why I don't like it, but I'll give you the main reason. And I'm going to show you my Titanic DVD as an example. And speaking of Titanic, I will be doing a review of it like I promised you guys. A couple of my attempts to do a review of the movie have failed, but we're getting off top off topic here. The main reason why I don't like the notebook, one of the main reasons, is because Noah and Allie are, in my opinion, ripoffs of Jack Dawson and Rose DeWitt Bicator. Why? It's it's just like I said at the beginning of this review. They are a rich girl and a poor boy. I almost said rich boy and a poor girl there. So I'm glad I caught that in time. Anyway, they are a rich girl and a poor boy who are separated by their social differences. Now, that to me is considered a ripoff. I have never read the original book, but I know, I know rip-offs when I see it. Another reason why I don't like it is because the pacing is slower than a snail. I'm serious. This, this movie is slower than molasses in Alaska. The the scenes are very well put together. The set designs are beautiful, but 
that's all drowned out by the mediocre factor of this movie. I'm sorry, guys. I just do not like this movie. It's not my cup of tea. Ever since I first saw it, I haven't liked it. I did give it a chance, okay? I did give it a chance. But in all honesty, I really don't see what is so good about this movie. I'm not like you guys. I did watch it with an open mind. I gave it the best chance I could. But really, this is not an enjoyable movie. It's, it's setting, it's acting is all over the place, despite being good. The, the pacing is slow. Sometimes the acting is way too over dramatic. It's, it's just not an enjoyable movie. Now, I'm not going to give this movie a 0 out of 10 rating, because there are some good things as opposed to the bad things in this movie. But the, but the good does not outweigh the mediocre. So I'm going to give it a rating of negative 4 out of 10, which is going to be a mediocre rating in my book and that's about it I, I have nothing more to say about the notebook if you guys want to comment in this video uh, leave comments down in the list underneath the description comment like and subscribe to me and I'll see you guys later. This has been my review of The Notebook. Bye-bye.